Draw and edit stepped walls. In this exercise, you'll draw the remaining wall to retain the other half of the terrace and the steps. You'll also learn how to step the walls so that they follow the incline of the steps. And then you'll model some coping. Use the wall tool to draw walls. Return to top plan view using either the view menu on the view bar or Control plus 5 on Windows or Command plus 5 on Macintosh. Use the navigation palette to set the active class to Walls Brick. From the Building Shell toolset, choose Wall. On the toolbar, click Wall Tool Preferences and change the settings as follows. On the Definition tab, click Standard Wall and set Overall Thickness to 330mm. Click the Insertion Options tab and set Height to 1150mm. Click the Textures tab. Click Use Object Textures and then use the Part drop-down list to select in turn Overall, then right and left and then click Choose Texture for each and select Bricks. Click OK. Note that you will need Renderworks to complete the texturing steps. Starting at the lower left corner of the steps, click once to start drawing the wall. Click again on the lower right corner of the steps, move the cursor down and double click on the end of the terrace to complete the walls. Check the 3D view again and note that the wall sits on the active layer, which has a Z value of minus 650 millimetres and extends 500 millimetres above the level of the terrace and the design layer. Create a stepped wall. To match the wall on the other side of the steps, you'll now learn to create a stepped wall. Click the selection tool and click on the drawing area to deselect the walls. Select the wall which sits to the right of the steps. On the object info palette, change height to 630 millimeters. This will become the starting height for the stepped wall. Choose landmark Architectural, Create Stepped Wall. Change the following settings. Step Style, Even Steps. Total Rise, check to have Vectorworks calculate this value. Step Length, 500mm. Step Rise, 130mm. Apply Steps to Top of Wall, check. Apply steps to bottom of wall, uncheck. Click OK. Model coping for the wall. I've created coping on the stepped wall on the left side of the steps. You'll now use a profile shape that I've prepared for you and a polyline I've also prepared to create coping for the long section of wall. Then you'll mirror the coping to the other side of the steps. Make Walls Stucco the active class. On the Resource Browser, click the Home button to ensure you're looking at the resources in the current file. Locate the Wall Coping Profile symbol. Double-click the symbol to make it active. Click twice on a blank space on the drawing area to insert a copy of the symbol. You'll learn more about symbols in the following exercises. Click the Selection tool. Select the polyline along the top of the wall. Press Shift and also select the Coping Profile. Choose Model, Extrude Along Path. Press Next and then Previous to ensure that the polyline along the top of the wall is highlighted in red. This ensures the polyline will be the path object. Click OK. The profile is extruded along the length of the wall to create a coping stone. Notice that the coping has sunk into the surface of the wall though. 
double click the coping. On the Edit Extrude Along Path dialog, click Profile and click OK. The profile editor is displayed. Click Fit to Objects if necessary to bring the profile into the centre of your screen. Notice that the centre of the profile is on 0, 0. This is the part of the profile that is currently aligned with the original path polyline, or in other words, the top of the wall. Click on the bottom centre of the profile shape and drag it up to snap onto the origin 0, 0. Click the orange Exit Profile button at the top right of the screen. The coping is now positioned correctly on the wall. Click Select Similar. Click on one of the Extrude Along Path objects to select them all. Click the Mirror tool. Draw a horizontal mirror line extending from the centre of the steps along the centre of the pathway. This will mirror the coping to the opposite walls. Return to Top Plan View. Keep the file open so that you can continue to work with it in the next exercise.